Well, right now we want to switch gears. We are officially in the spring allergy season. Let's bring in the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin with tips on surviving. Help us, Beth. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Sally and Lena. Yeah, you know, we're now sort of in the middle of the spring allergy season. It typically starts in March, and then we really start to see a pickup towards the end of March. And as we head into April, that's when we expect to see really a peak in the misery for, for people who have you know sensitivity to pollen and pollen really what's driving this tree pollen you know weed pollen all that kind of stuff uh, in the air right now making a lot of people uh, very miserable well what should folks be paying attention to um, do we need to look at the pollen count every morning how do we limit our exposure because that's so hard right. to do so a few things so um, you know if you're somebody who usually needs medication you should be taking it already don't wait until you wake up and you're having symptoms to, to take your medication it's pretty important to take it consistently throughout the season just to sort of head off an issue rather than trying to treat it once it's already started and um, you know you have a lot of options over-the-counter options at the drugstore so you know you've got oral antihistamines that can help if you're you know if your system is just really keyed up and fighting the pollen. You've also got uh, uh, steroid nasal sprays that can ease some of your nasal symptoms. You've got nasal rinses that can help rinse some of the pollen and the mucus out of your nose uh, and your sinuses. And so you mentioned it, you know, really trying to limit your exposure on those uh, high pollen count days. So maybe that looks like, you know, we know that the pollen count is usually going to be the highest early in the morning. So if you're somebody who gets up and you like to walk or run, maybe you push it back a little bit later in the day or on those really severe high pollen count days maybe you uh, you know do walk on the treadmill or do something indoors so you're really trying to to limit you know how much you're out in the pollen right now especially when it's windy windy conditions can really sort of pick up you know and and pick up the pollen and sort of toss it into the air and make it a little bit harder on your body yes. and then finally you mentioned checking the pollen count you know the meteorologists uh, will give you the pollen count every morning and that's important because you just want to know what to expect. Mm -hmm. Sally and Lena. Absolutely. Beth Galvin live for us this morning. Thank you so much, Beth. Have a great rest Thank of your you. week.